When it comes to brush settings, most of the time you will find that the default values work just fine. But among these, there are four settings that I find myself using every day and they make my job much easier. So let's learn when to use them. Here is a thin surface. If I sculpt on it, you can see how it also affects the opposite side and it's really messy. You have to kind of tell the brush, ignore the faces on the opposite side and only sculpt on the front. To do that, simply go here, tap on filter and enable front facing vertex only. And now, if I sculpt again, everything looks fine and this side is untouched. This works for the mask tools as well. If I draw a mask, it's drawn on the other side as well. Now, enable front facing vertex only and draw again. And it ignores the faces on the opposite side. Perfect. So, here I have this model. All the parts are joined together. Now, if I wanted to use the move brush and tweak the proportion or something, let's say in this shoulder area, it only moves the arms and not the shoulder despite of it being part of the same object. It happens because under the filter section, this connected topology is enabled. If I disable it and try to move this area again, now, the shoulder also moves. Depending on what you want, you can keep it enabled or disabled. For example, if I wanted to move only this torso area without the move brush affecting the arms or any other parts, I would keep it enabled. Very, very useful. Here we have this box shape. Let's say I want to change its outline shape using the move brush. So, I do this. It looks okay from this view, but when I turn it, you can see nothing has changed on this side and the outlines don't match. To avoid this, uh, simply go to stroke and enable silhouette. Now, if I try again, it works nicely. I use this feature all the time especially for hard surface stuff. Sometimes when we sculpt lines on a surface, they can get wobbly or inconsistent. To fix this, go to stroke and increase this lazy rope stabilizer value. Now it looks smooth. I used this feature to paint these lines on this character's clothes. You can check out the whole process, link will be in the description. So I hope you found this video useful, subscribe for more tutorials like this and I will see you in the next video.